Hey guys, this is part two of my video about how to get CTF themes onto your PSP. So, um, after you put your eBoot into the root of your uh, memory stick, which, uh, oh, and the eBoot must be what firmware you have. So, for example, if you have 3.90 M33, you're going to put a 3.90 eBoot, and it must be named in all capital letters eboot.pbp again that's e b o o t dot p b p and it must all be in capitals so after you do that and you put the files and everything you're gonna go to game memory stick and you wanna go to this red squirrels p r s p sorry dumper and we wanna run that so we're gonna let that run So now you have options. You have enable disable USB hosts F host FS mode. You have dump encrypted with sit check and decrypted reboot.bin. Dump encrypted without sig checked and decrypted reboot.bin. Dump and decrypt all exit and come back to dashboard, which is basically the XMB menu. So what you want to do is you want to press square because you want you want to press square because you want to dump and decrypt all so we're gonna go ahead and press square and now you're gonna see something like this loading PSART from eboot please wait PBP header size 004 FC 655 you might not get the same header size but uh if you have something like this going on, it should be working. Also, if your memory stick light is just on, it's not flashing or anything, it's just on like that. It might flash sometimes. It's working. So after it's working, you're going to say, well, eBoot found, loaded correctly, and stuff and stuff. It's going to correct all the folders, and then now it's encrypting everything. Just so you guys can see it. Your PSP is just going to be like this. Some of them will be saying expanding, decrypting, expanding again, saving. Some of them will just say expanding, saving. Most of them will be de expanding, decrypting, expanding again, saving. And they should all have an OK at the end. If they don't, then there's a problem. Oh, again, these are all flash zero, zero files. Again, all flash, flash zero files. So we just wait, it's almost done. But after this is done, we would like, uh, you guys should uh, back up your flash zero. Because when you create CTF themes, it's kind of good to have that those files. Mine was already backed up before I did any of this. So I should be good in case something goes wrong. I, sh I could just put those back in and my PSP will be okay. So I think it's near finish. Just wait a couple seconds. Yep, it's done. It's gonna end in three seconds and it's going to the XMB menu. Okay. So now it's at the XMB menu. And now what we want to do is uh, go back into a USB connection because we're going to continue with the plugin now. Just head on over to the computer. Okay. Now at the computer, and autoplay is running again. Just going to wait till that's done running. Yeah, my computer is a bit slow, so it's not going to be like quick like that, but um, basically, since it might take a while, go to uh, PSP items. <coughs> 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 
I'm just going to my computer so I can get to the memory stick. It's very slow, I don't know why. One second. Don't know why my uh, the computer has been very slow lately. I don't know why, because most of my files I put on my external hard drive. But I don't know why it's slow. Here it is. So I'm gonna cancel this since I'm already at the computer. Great. And if it worked, you'll see something that says "dump." Go ahead and click on that. Flash zero, right there. And there you go. You just dumped your PSP. Now we want three files. One of them will be in here in uh, research, I believe. Let's check. Hope I clicked the wrong one. I'm sorry about that. Um, it's going to be in module. Pretty sure. Yep, it's going to be in here. We want three things. We want VSH main is one of them. Just going to copy this. Going to copy it. Go back to your root of your memory stick when you get one of these files. We're going to do it one by one just to make sure everything copies. Go into CXMB, go into uh, support, and here, here, we want to put all of our uh, decrypted files here, so here's VHS main, yes. Next we want common UI or path, we'll just get both of them if you want to. Uh, I'm just going to do one by one. Or actually, I'm going to do both of them at the same time because my computer is really slow. So again, that's path and common GUI, I believe. I'll make sure. Module again. They're all in module, if you uh, are curious. So here's common GUI. And then I just need to one second. Oops. Sorry about that. Um, just find it and path. I'm going to copy that. Sorry about the camera falling. Um, so you're going to copy both of those files and then you're going to go back. To, uh, you're going to go back to that support folder that's in CXMB. Support. And then, yep, and then you're going to just paste them. Say yes to all. And there. Now you have the decrypted files that you need. You are almost done. So we're just going to exit out of uh, USB mode here, because uh, we're pretty much finished with what we need to do. So we're going to exit. Just go head on to the PSP. So now if you watched any of my uh, other videos, uh, you're going to see that I'm going to have to turn off my PSP completely and put it in recovery mode. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, I'll show you how to get into recovery mode now. First. Turn off your PSP completely, so hold it for three seconds. And once that green light stopped, it's not on anymore, blinking. You can hold R and slide on while holding on. Now it's loading. And now you're in recovery mode. You can see that? There you go. Okay, so now you want to go down to plugins. And you're going to see something that says cxmb.prx. 
mine's enabled all you're gonna have to do is go down click X and it's gonna be enabled like mine yours will probably be disabled and that's it you have installed the plugin watch my next video my next part of this video of getting the CTF theme on how to make CTF themes and to show you what would happen if you put the plugin correctly. Bye.